Zach, 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 Zach. No, now you got to do it in your radio voice. Zach, 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 Zach. I don't have. I haven't distinct. I haven't Zach, distinct. Zach, Zach, Zach. Captain Beefheart style. Uh, hey there. Welcome back to the last portion of today's episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I can do the smooth jazz voice. Ooh yeah. We're uh we're testing out different voices. Zach, oh, we're recording. Are we? Yeah, no, we're live. This is <laughs> I can do this way. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. So while we were gone, our audience has missed out on quite a bit. Uh, Zach is concerned about the sound of his radio voice. I was unaware that we were supposed to be using our radio voices. So I think I'm just going to talk like this now. That could be fun, huh, guys? I'm going to hold you to that. All right, I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just be a little gruffer. I, I'm going to get some helium because I don't think my voice is high enough. If it's too low, I sound like a buffoon. I wasn't going to say anything, but you're exactly right. But people out there don't want to hear us doing silly I voices. I sounded different in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure do. We all did back <laughs> in the 90s. <laughs> but they don't want to hear us do silly voices. They want to hear about that phone call that Zach just received. Yeah. Zach? A bike ride that went wrong. How was it described? <laughs> Uh, it it got out of hand. <laughs> out of hand, bike <laughs> as bike rides so frequently do. Oh, yes, in uh, my it, experience, it, it, it's a it's a quite not, not even joking. They they usually do, don't they? <laughs> like, what kind of bike rides do you people take? <laughs> <laughs> like, my bike rides are like leisurely at best. Oh, you know, through like Gaza Strip and stuff. Sure. When was the last time? You, all right, <laughs> I'm not. Why am I touching this? So, a, a buddy of mine lives in Oak Park, and his bike ride got out of hand and ended up in my neighborhood. Which I don't know how out of hand. I don't know how many miles that is. I can't believe it. I can't five miles maybe. Yeah, probably. That's it. Seems like it. Even though I don't know where your buddy lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I actually don't either. I've never been well, to his apartment. Y- he just phone. moved to. He just moved to Oak Park. I don't have his address. Well, you could just say Oak Park. We can get a Oak Park ballpark. to Logan Square. Yeah. yeah, get a ballpark figure about Oak Park. Yeah, I thought you guys. I thought you guys didn't want me using my phone. I changed my mind, and play music for us. Phil, tell us a joke. Uh, I, no, I, I'm not good at that. All right, Sandra, did that buy us enough time? <laughs> uh, almost. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. Ask me that question again. Hey, do you want to tell us a joke, Phil? Uh, All right, seven answer. miles. Seven it's miles. A, it's a seven mile bike ride, and he wants to take refuge at my Jesus Christ, man! He has to go through Austin and Garfield Park. Depending seven on the miles, route, though? D- yeah, that, depending that, on the route, I guess. So it, it that's mu- not, it's more than seven miles then if he takes a different route. No, but that's not that bad. To be on, like, not being a cocky prick, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm your not, friend's a I'm bitch. I'm not disagree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say he wants to take refuge at my at my home that I'm currently not at, and he has a he has a feud with one of my roommates. So which one? Not not podcast talk. Not podcast talk. Okay. okay. So maybe the reason the bike ride got out of hand and he's seeking refuge is because he went through Austin and Garfield Park. And uh, maybe it is very possible. He is not podcast. So is the roommate a multitasker? God damn, they're <laughs> spreading. We're going to have a multitasker war. Uh, like he's closer to a multitasker than not. <laughs> he's a semi-tasker. He's a semi-tasker, yes. <laughs> have, no, but seriously, have you, got, you guys don't like regularly have out-of-control bi- bike experiences? No, no. <laughs> usually usually <laughs> mine are relatively in control. Uh, and I don't ride bikes, so. I've gotten hit by a car on my bike twice. Well, the second one is up for debate. Wait, what, whether or not you got hit by a car yeah, is up for debate? Yeah, I feel like debate. that's a pretty solid yeah, yeah. yes or no. Okay, well, here's... Uh, do, you, do, you want the, do you want the real answer or yeah. the legal answer? Long you story know? short. Yeah, well, well no, the fir- first time I was, uh, I got, I was um, 12 and I got really mad at my ma. So uh, there was a record store, you know, Rolling Stone uh, Records. Okay. Uh, I used to I used to always go there. It was, it was the nearest and coolest fucking record store around my house, and I used to go there every weekend to check out the new records. This Back in the nineties, when there was no internet, mm-hmm. 
I mean, yeah, they do have records there. Well, just well, cassette well, tapes and VHS. No, that's where I'd go for porn. Yeah, no, that they have p- really? nothing but porn now. It fucking sucks. Where? Rolling Stone? Yeah, Rolling Stone. How records. is like how is a physical porn shop still in business? They also sell records, apparently. Because they got, you know, the 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 black market shit there where all the priests get, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so so you as a young boy were right <laughs> to this place. Yeah, looking for an application. <laughs> no. Oh god. And any anyways. I got talent. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, you want to be a star, don't you? <laughs> no, but uh, there's my radio voice. <laughs> so, 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 uh, so uh, um, yeah. No, so I was uh, I was mad because we didn't stop at the. We used to go every weekend, and back when there was an internet, uh, you know, you just have to go and check out all the fucking records physically at the listening station. And we didn't go that weekend, so I rode my bike like at eight at night to go get there so i was going like full speed and i crossed street and a car hit me and then i woke up in the middle of the street and the guy like took off and i didn't know what so that was in first out of control bike second out of control bike experience was that the was that the you're not sure if you got no 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 one the the second one is not (laughs) no no no. the second one is not sure because this is such fucking bullshit okay i was on my way to nmp the shitty telemarketing you, you, this telemarketing is—it's a piece of shit. It's like you—you you, you know that first company in Wolf of Wall Street. It's like, yeah, sell yeah. me this pen, the uh, it, penny stocks shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that type of company. It's a fucking shithole. So I'm on my way there, and this fucking bitch in her soccer mom minivan is going full speed out of her fucking driveway, like not even looking both. Way. And she lives in one of those places where like the the garage is behind the apartment. Yeah. So she's not even looking like if there's even a person walking and she hit me and I like like I fucking fell on the hood, hit my head, like cracked the windshield. I got so pissed that I punched the hood as hard as I can. So I got charged with vandalism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She yeah. got charged with something, right? No, she didn't get charged. I, I even have the newspaper like clipping that Phil I- <laughs> like it literally says Phil Isaki was driving on this road, got hit by this car, and then like charged with vandalism. Like li- literally, it's ex- the exact way that I explain it to you right now, but only vandalism. Hmm. And she's like, "You're you're, you're out of control. You're out of control. Like I'm calling the police on you." And I'm like, "You just fucking hit me. Be happy that I'm not pulling some fake disability shit." And like, "Oh, ow, ow! I'm seeing the light. I'm suing you. You know." Maybe you so. should have. I should have, and I will do that next time. You vandal. I don't see how it was her fault at all. Yeah. Wait, and how are you unsure if you got hit by the car? It yeah, sounds like it you seems got hit by the car. Well, unsure pretty, yeah. because because I fucking got hit by her. She was going like twenty miles an hour out of her driveway, and then I, what what I I I like I'm I didn't just punch the hood. I was like trying to get my way off the hood because there's glass all over me. I don't know. It sounds to me like you ran into the car, smashed the windshield. All right. This isn't some Marvel movie where I'm <laughs> jumping from a roof, fist first into the into this lady's car. Well, that's that's uh, then describe it differently because that's exactly how I pictured it happening. Yeah. Or maybe that's just what you want us to think. You guys won't get it when you're when you're as oppressed as me. Okay. Sure. Well, talking about media portrayal, you've been portrayed very poorly in the media, right? In the, <laughs> in the yeah, blotter, apparently. <laughs> in the police right. blotters, yeah, yeah. The world thinks I'm a vandal now. They're not going to watch, hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing because I hate meatballs yeah. and I'm a vandal. You're morally repugnant. Yeah, people won't want to listen well, or the read your fuck. books. Right. Wait till uh, I release my poetry book. Poetry book that I write, not some what Dave Sears or some shit. And then I will release my poetry book by taking little excerpts of this <laughs> of what he says on this podcast. <laughs> and I won't read either of them. So there. That's the plan. All right. Listen. Now, but I've, you, I've can, had, you can complain about your illiteracy to other people, but I have no pity for you. Who's complaining? Oh. Proud to be illiterate. That's, That's right. the way we did it in the 90s. <laughs> That's right. Back in the 90s, we were getting hit by cars and punching hoods and being going to porn stores and yeah, and simpler times. Yeah. No, I no, but you, you, you've you haven't had like bad accidents on your bike. The, I, I, I mean, have, I've wiped out before, but I've never been hit by a car. 
the the third time I had a bad well, it wasn't like that bad. I don't think it's that bad because I'm pretty resilient to pain. But <laughs> I I bought a fucking um, I bought a I bought a brand new speed bike on Craigslist, and I didn't like. I'm like, I just want to start biking. I didn't like it, look it, at it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I didn't know what to test because I don't know a lot about, or I didn't know a lot about bikes at the time. And I never saw uh, those, I mean, this is going to sound so fucking old <laughs> to now, but where, where you, you know, instead of using a, a wrench to unscrew the wheel, yeah. they just have like a clip thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Like a, like a wing nut almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never seen like speed bikes with that before. I thought it was like all when I bought this thing. Oh my god, it wasn't on, was it? it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> and, oh. and 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 the way I ride, which is why I have these bad experiences, like bunny hopping on benches from curb to curb, doing wheelies and shit, because it adds to my uh, workout, you know, not sure. being boring. So I I like bunny hopped off like a two foot uh, and sidewalk. Your wheel fell off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> face face first into the ground. Oh, oh, I I would love to see. Is there video of this? Or like CVTV that I could get of that? Well, we didn't have the NSA monitoring <laughs> us in the '90s from satellites. <laughs> but there probably is. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I I don't know what it, I wonder. I wonder if there's like some really <laughs> horrific unicycle accidents. There has to be. The the, the park war guys well, on let's their find out. going from skyscraper to skyscraper. I feel like having Google search of horrific unicycle accident is. We should ask El Chapo about any bicycle accidents in that tunnel. You know. He doesn't answer my calls anymore. Well, I, know, I, I didn't right? wear my helmet the first time I escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Some lessons we learned the hard way. Are you looking it up, Sandry? Does Phil have to tell another joke to buy us time? 35 mile an hour crash on unicycle. How do you get to 35 miles an hour? Was he skitching? Or maybe cat, that's Kat what they Rins, were hit by. Catrin's unicycle crash. And it is Catrin's, not Catherine's. Let's see. Catrin's? Show me, YouTube. All right. Can you give us a play-by-play? We do color commentary. All right, he's going backwards. He's going backwards on this, like, dirt road in a trailer park. Oh, and some... I, they weren't even filming the person who fell. <laughs> <laughs> A guy <laughs> falls out of nowhere in the middle There's of this person's like, yeah, video. Yeah, co- comes from comes from the opposite side and just eats shit into the grass. Was he on a unicycle as well? Uh, he was on, or she was on a unicycle as well. Let's see if I can find a better one. <laughs> so reviews or no reviews? Oh, well, I think we're downhill right now. mountain <laughs> bike crash. Reviewing unicycles? Yeah, that's the hard hitting stuff. The funniest uh, unicycle accident ever. I don't want to be offensive, but they sound like these unicycle riders, like they eat nothing but SpaghettiOs. Wow. Wow. Sack, sack, sack. He's from the 90s. I like this That's guy. That's right. <laughs> All right, Sandra, what's going on? Oh. Uh, Sandra, fill us in. So it's a bunch of people riding unicycles off of, like, platforms and different, like, structures that are higher up and just not, it's not working. Are they bailing? I love my favorite part about this is that they're dressed like skater punks, like they're badass for riding a <laughs> unicycle. <laughs> well, no, that that's like that whole fucking the the morons also in the, in the, the city. Punk music just kills me. No, there's like that whole there's there's that whole fucking group in like uh, oh, inner city that that you know the tugboats the couple, tugboat captains. Sure. Oh yeah. No, you know what I'm talking about, where they weld a shitload of fucking shitty bikes together and it's like ten feet high. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Do they call themselves the tugboat captains? What the fuck is this? It sounds like Jack Black. Uh, All right. That actually like That's Tenacious Steve for sure. All right. Sandra, kill it. Uh, I just feel sad for these people after watching that. Dude, why? They're punks. That's what Riot Fest is all about. <laughs> right. Unicycle riding. That's right. Is that why you didn't like Riot Fest? No unicycles? Well, because unicycles... Riders eat spaghettios, and I don't. Well, you keep bringing it. You keep rubbing it in that I just. I hate those people, those spaghettio eaters. That, dude, what are we back in 1993 with that accent of yours? <sighs> Man, those were the days when I was one year old. That's right. Who so could forget. No, so no. Any any re, any book reviews? Any like you said, Great Gatsby was great. Great Gatsby, yeah. Spoiler spoiler alert: Gatsby is great. But not really. He's kind of Fuck a shitty East person. Egg. 
Dude, right? That's what I'm all about. So, uh, Great Gatsby, awesome book. Moby Dick, Moby. Oh God. No new, no new music. N- no, not really. We lo- we loved Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, I think the great. best at right foot. I would yeah. say they definitely top ten. Have you have you ever listened to them, Zach? They're like they're a local no, band of and <coughs> they're really fucking. I, I mean, I just the live act seemed like a less. They're Chicago uh, based. Yeah, yeah. That they're, they're I think it's at like Treehouse Records or something. Maybe you know. Tree I don't know. House Records. But they are. Uh, yeah. Th- I the way the live experience. I feel like they were a faster, less sleepy music of Brian Jones Tom Asker. Oh, so interesting. It was it's like more upbeat and a lot poppier. I I like them, but I mean. I, I like the live version better than the, the discs because I don't Have you listened to the There's a lot of bands that are like that. Sure. Yeah. Especially like up and coming bands. It's like, it's funny because I feel like the when I, the, from the shit that I've listened to, like the shit that sounds calm and like boring sounds awesome live. And then the shit that's like super intense and crazy sounds, sounds like shit, shit live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been listening to, I just got this hat in the mail. I had to show off trash talk lately and i fucking love them oh my i hated have you have you ever heard of this band no No. what is the trash talk yeah they're they're uh it's like a hardcore fast punk kind of like a modern suicidal tendencies almost like power trip but they're they're from california it's two white guys two black guys they're on odd futures uh record label like tyler the creators Mm. interesting and they're fucking awesome like their their shows. I, I remember I never went to one of their shows because they'd fucking sell out in like five minutes when they came to Chicago. Oftentimes it was because like Tyler the Creator was opening up for them and it's like in a small venue, but they would go nuts. And I think I almost saw them because my luck. I mean, you guys been to Sub T? How fucking small that is? Yeah, pretty small. Right before Tyler the Creator was gonna play Lollapalooza, literally day of. La Palooza. He's like, fuck it. I'm gonna have a pre-party show at Sub T, and I like got a ticket and saw him at Sub T. It was nuts. He fell on me and I think hurt my head a little bit because he jumped from the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> but man, that had that had a really good show. I saw a Murs there, which was great for uh, Red Pill, Verbal Kent, Murs, and King Fantastic. I love King Fantastic. That's the name of the band. Uh, he's a rapper, but it, oh yeah. Okay, and run yeah. That speaking of like run the jewels, I don't think it's that good as it's hyped up to be. I don't know. I heard like the six best songs, and then like everything else is pretty fucking standard. I don't yeah, know. But to have six good songs, yeah, sets you apart from S- having. Yeah, actually, not to talk shit, but having six good songs for rap, that's like amazing. Because usually, like the whole fucking album is horrible. I don't. In my opinion, I don't know. I don't know. I think it goes one of. Like I think it's more extreme with rap. It's either the whole album makes it or nothing makes yeah. it. Yeah, I love fucking Death Grips. That's why, because Death Grips, I love the whole album, like every album. Have you ever heard Death Grips? No, I haven't. <laughs> that 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 story is so fucking weird. Like when I got to my buddy at my work, he got me into them, and he told me like, I'm like, what the fuck is with this band? This this is such weird shit. Because the first time I heard it, it sounded like Wesley Willis ranting. It's terrifying. Ooh, like, <laughs> yeah, what? And 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 and, the, and over it was just really almost like not bassy dubstep. Like it, it sounded like a computer melting down in a microwave. And and and, and he's what like, what does that sound like exactly? <laughs> and, and and he and he's doing like spoken word rap over it. And it's and and like I heard it the first few times. I'm like, this is so fucking weird. And then it got stuck in my head. And it's like. As much as disturbing it is, like every, every, it's it's so fucking catchy because it's so fucking disturbing. And, and and then when I read about him even more, it was like the singer MC Ride, like uh, I read something like he they they just genuinely don't give a fuck. And they, I guess he like lived in a public bathroom for like two years while they were recording. And the funny thing is like the wait. Can I get more background on that? Lived in a public bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> that, where? That, where that, was this? In California. And and, and the other thing I read is uh, their their album cover for a. Uh, it's funny. It's called No Love Deep Web, and the cover is the the background is a the public bathroom, and then there's a black bar 
when I looked at it on my iPod. I'm like, why the what the fuck is that? A black, just a random like sensor bar. And then I found out they're like, well, what do you guys want as a music cover? And it's just the name of the album written on his dick in the photo. <laughs> so that's why there's a black bar. <laughs> but uh, and the album is called No Love Deep, Deep Web. Web. Yeah. How small is it written? It's it's written pretty well. He's got a huge dick. Sure. All right. I well, see what you're trying to do here, man. It had to be one or the other. <laughs> yeah. Was it erect? Was it, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, it would be rather impressive if it wasn't. Or I think we need small. to write them and ask. Yeah. No, but you 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 know what the weirdest thing about them is, and and we kind of that like, he lived in a public bathroom what, 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 for two what, years. <laughs> well, well, no, it, it, dude, it keeps getting weirder, and th- and that's oh, what it, that that's like the appeal about it is that like I don't get like so so the other thing is. They they have like these weird connections in Hollywood or something where like they literally had William Shatner sponsor his album out of nowhere. What? Yeah, there's like Death Grips is my favorite album, and I love it. It's great music. Like he's and, and I don't like I don't know. And then uh, I forgot the other thing they did. I don't know what the other thing was. I know William Shatner has a spoken word album. Maybe that's. Uh, I think he's it. coming to town soon. Is he? Yeah. Or doing he, doing it, what? He's got he does he has albums out there. Yeah, spoken they're word spoken al- word albums though. I thought they were a joke. No, like he does like covers of songs and I know. I, I've listened yeah. to those. I thought they were jokes. He actually goes on stage and does those? I mean, would you say <laughs> yeah. that Weird Al Yankovic songs are we, jokes? We we need a Yeah, I guess. He goes on tour. All right, that's fair. Yeah. We need to have a William kind of Shatner of a fan. Thing, we need a William Shatner fan as a guest. Like, what the get, fuck is wrong with you? We should get William Shatner yeah. on the... I'll should. call Bill. <laughs> yeah. I'll get Shatner and MC Ride and the city official who cleaned that bathroom but didn't mind that there was someone living in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, how how does that work? How Do you pay him off? Or? I, have, I have no idea. I, I, I think he just snuck in there every day. <laughs> I don't know. For two years. And no one caught it. It's on. a hard knock life. Also, if you're living in California, I feel like there's got to be beaches or anywhere that's better than a bathroom. I guess I'm like I'm assuming it's a public bathroom at a beach. That was what I was picturing. It's like Th- one that's of those kind of what I was picturing. Like, yeah. One of those like like uh, I was picturing a neighborhood brick like yeah. structures. Yeah, I was picturing it like a uh, like San Andreas type, like like by the beach where where the where Compton is right by the beach. <laughs> Grove City, Grove Street Boys, or whatever. Sure. But Gotta get back to the Grove. But, uh, yeah. Talk about the... Was that the 90s? Was that the 2000s? I don't even know. I know that... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Henry Rollins is coming to town, too. I don't know if you guys are fans of him. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 I used to... I, I go back and forth with loving him and hating him because he sounds super fucking like pretentious and... I'm right, you're wrong, type shit. But uh, I don't know. I, the, the the funny thing about this next tour I heard, like, because he was on a podcast recently, he was saying that he's uh, so he goes to the world's dangerous places, like say Somalia or something, takes shitload of pictures with his camera, and now on the tour he's just with a fucking clicker. So here's where I went here, and this is how lovely it was in Somalia. They almost got me. Here's a picture of them pointing an AK-47 at my face. And he's just gonna click through these slides. That's that's what he does. Uh, well, no, for this tour, that's what he's gonna do. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Most of it is spoken. It used to be just spoken word, and it was it was okay. I mean, I I I went to him before, and it was pretty funny. But uh, I don't know. So he just he puts himself in harm's way on purpose. Yeah. Well, for the tour, he does it for the tour. Because the fans are dying to see his fucking he, he, what movies. What fans? Are, I I want to see you. He you sold out Talia Hall slides. when I. S- oh shit! So, really? Yeah, and that's where he's oh, going this okay. year. Well, w- w- when I saw oh, him, fuck, he was I'll talking take, about. I'll take the foot out of my mouth, I guess. Right. Well, Apologize. <laughs> when when uh to Henry when he was uh when he was um the the tour that I went to um he was talking about how it was his second near death experience because he was. Um, setting down with a, I don't know what you fucking call it, landing with a helicopter right near Gaza Strip and a mortar went like a, a mile away from where he was. So there's like horrible fucking turbulence. Huh. And he got a lot of pictures to clip through now. 
man, he's got a rough life. Yeah, right. On purpose. Going to all those places for fun. Probably lives in a public Gaza Strip bathroom. Yeah. Probably not. He probably lives in a very well furnished <laughs> California home. Yeah. I don't know if there are public bathrooms on the Gaza Strip. I feel like no. I mean, road trip. We can go find out. Yeah, take a bunch of pictures. Yeah, there game. we go. Then we'll go on tour. The next podcast will be broadcast from the Gaza Strip. Yeah. Oh, and who's in the neighborhood? A mortar. Ow. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't know if that would be your exact reaction. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Yeah. I don't know. You've got, what would you say, you're very resilient to pain? Yeah, you know. That, my friends, is what is called shell shock. Ah, oh, you get it for like two seconds, you know. Sure. Yeah. Just roll with the punches. That's I thought it was funny how like, or I, I didn't know that shell shock is like a very serious term. Did you know that? Well, shell shock is what PTSD used to be called. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know, like, I didn't realize how much they use it in Ninja Turtles. I made it into <laughs> a joke. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know that shell at all. Shell shock? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, Teaching ever, the children. Have you ever played, you know like, what's tur- hilarious is when people come back from war with nervous breakdowns every time they hear <laughs> explosions. You never played like Turtles in Time on S- NES? Ooh, shell shock! Every time he like gets hurt, that, that kind of ruins that a little bit for me. It's kind of I don't know. They're turtles. They're talking about a different sort of shell. Uh, they're heroes in a half shell. Turtle shock. power. That's right. So yeah, speaking of old cartoons, man, I have some fucking thing that really bothered the shit. I'm. I, I was okay. You know when you when you're on the shitter and you just come up with a random idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's really fucking stupid and you can't get it off your mind i get that when i'm not on the shitter so i i was just thinking about so like, so you know when you just come up with a stupid idea it's yeah it's just saying. all the time it's all the Where time the sh- why why did we need the toilet I, yeah. yeah yeah I don't, I don't know why yeah i'm well, sorry guys so you're I, I didn't know how to bring this up yeah oh, uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you thinking. know you guys you know guys when you're multitasking do you guys can you guys relate yeah yeah so anyway no i i was just thinking about do you guys remember the theme song to captain planet Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna Gonna set pollution down to zero. And then... Oh, what that's why they took him off the air. Something, 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 something. Bad guys who like to loot and plunder. Yeah, loot and plunder. Like, I still don't know what the fuck that means. Like, why the fuck would they have that in a kid's... What, what the hell is... Loot pl- and plunder? Plunder? What the fuck does that mean? Have that's you ever seen the G.I. Joe cartoon? Yeah, what yeah. Do you mean you I don't know what the fuck they would do, like broadcast Wait. for kids. No, Wait. no. I'm saying I don't know what the hell plunder meant. Plunder like, is like f- oh. what pirates do, like robbing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, so you rob by polluting. I get. Yeah, and loot. Yep. And yeah. loot. Looting and plundering. Yeah. Which well, arguably is kind of redundant. Which also. A bit. Which also made me go even deeper down that rabbit hole of Captain Planet, and made me think. Who the fuck is like volunteeringly being a bad guy and be like, I'm going to pollute today. That's all I do. Dude. Like I fell for that the shit. The villains in all Captain Planet. Yeah, but but how could you believe that as a kid? And Corporate how, how could America. You tr- how could you trust a fucking guy in tights with a green mullet is my question. You it know, was the 90s, you uh, know? That's fair. You don't, you don't right. try that. You Back shouldn't in the trust 90s. that, dude. And I think Ted Turner was the executive producer for that show. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. Look it up. Phil can tell a joke. I swear to God, Ted Turner. Yeah, I don't know. I I used to have the fire action figure. What was the name? I think Luke. Maybe Pete. No, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't remember any of their names. <laughs> Earth, wind, water, fire, go, help! By your powers combined, I am Captain. Pl- All right, so Ted Turner. Yeah, yeah. He it was created by Ted Turner and created. Uh, oh, that Barbara explains Bile. it. Ah, that explains it. Old Theodore ran through September fifteenth, nineteen ninety to go May plunder 11th, yourself, Theodore. Six, a hundred and thirteen episodes. Jesus, really? Hmm. Each one better than the last. Well, you know what we're doing at our next get together. Oh, we're watching what? all the Captain Planets. Oh man. Okay, there is. <laughs> Do you guys remember Toxic Avenger? Yeah, <laughs> that that cartoon. Yeah. Oh, the live action movies. No, 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 the cartoon. Don't remember the cartoon. That's what's really fucking weird is that 
The movie, I think, was called Toxic Avenger. Yeah, there were the three ca- of them. But the cartoon was called Toxic Crusader. Hmm. The Toxic Avenger. Yeah. There were three Ni- movies. <laughs> a 98-pound nerd from New Jersey lands in a vat of toxic waste and becomes a benevolent monster. I know that guy. I used to work with him. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Guess who poured the toxic waste? Yeah. Ah. He's one that's always making fun of you for reading. Yeah, man. There is no one in here that is word that I even know. Oh, so of. who? What was the production company? It's um, who it's the it? same people that did uh, Sergeant Kabuki Man. PD, I think I forget the name of it. They did um, the Surf Nazis Must Die. The uh, Trauma. Yeah, Trauma. Yeah. What is Surf Nazis Must Die? It's Their budget was half a million, which... What, what is that? It's a shitty movie about like people not liking you surfers. Mean, oh, I thought it was like a movement in 2018. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, you see, back in the 90s... <laughs> but no, dude, Troma makes... Oh, so, well, that wasn't a voice. That was me. Ah! <laughs> 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 No, but um, no, dude. I recently watched Alien vs Predator. Everybody told me that movie was a piece of shit, but I actually really liked it. I actually have never seen any of the Alien movies. It's I we talk about this before. You gotta see it, man. You gotta see. It. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. The, the, there was one. Have you ever se- have Bill? Have you ever seen Alien vs yeah, Predator? I've seen not AVP. I saw the first two Aliens. I think. Oh, but you didn't see AVP. No, my mom wouldn't let me. Isn't Prometheus part of that series? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Prometheus was fucking pretty I've heard, good. I heard really good things about Prometheus. Yeah. Prometheus, I like because it's like, it's like the first Alien. It's real like isolation, very quiet. I don't, I don't know. It, it's, it's a lot more suspense to it. Reminds me of like fucking. Have you guys ever seen Martian? No. With Matt Damon. Oh, oh no. the Martian. Martian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of reminds me. I don't know, but, but I know what it is. It's uh yeah. it's a book. But uh, yeah. Anyway, it is a book. That's so right. there is one goofy thing about AVP. Because do you know what the story is in it? There's aliens, there's predators, they're versus each other. All right, is that an '80s accent I hear? <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's me from the 1950s. <laughs> no, no, dude. No, it's like they they fucking um they find a let like they're 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 gonna drill for uh some archaeological dig in in the middle of Antarctica and they find this hole. That's dug down like I don't know, f- fucking forty miles down, but it wasn't there the day before. So they're like, "There's no drill that could drill this far down in one day." There's no fucking way. Oh, they're from the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> was hey, Alien First Predator in the nineties? No. No, no. It was like in it. high school, maybe. When Let's say early two thousands. Early two thousands. But yeah, yeah. So the, so the th- the parts that's fucking stupid is they find in, in like an Aztec temple <laughs> in fifty miles underneath antarctica sure where it's supposed to be like the predators aztec temple i mean that makes uh i mean well, it makes sense. yeah talk yeah. well i know you're all about historical and like, accuracy, accuracy. Yeah. so you were yeah, yeah. I, was, I was i was shaking out. with anger <laughs> they'd be at least 70 miles, miles down. down yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean it's, it's there. there yeah why do you think god froze it that's right so, so they, they find, find the temple, temple and... Well, technically, technically it's not down. down. I mean, could, could be up because this is a, we're, we're, on, we're on flat earth. earth. Yeah. Right. right. Goddamn God NASA on their ice wall. That's, That's right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and say that we should probably leave reviews out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it just kind of it devolves into us yeah, talking yeah. about movies we've seen. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah, yeah, I am so glad you said that. You know, am I am I wrong? No, I think reviews is bad. And I hated that. No, I hated that you're right. <laughs> I just like it's fine. I feel like Gideo Eaton, '80s accent. <laughs> hey, come on now. Non-review. Uh, you're giving me shell shock. You've played Turtles in Time. So all right, reviews are out. But, but then, then we, we would lose. Actually, actually yeah, I don't even think we recorded any of that shit about Riot Fest. Fest. We did a very brief <laughs> 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 summary. <laughs> the, yeah, the longest portion was not recorded. Yeah. yeah. I think here's what I'd like to do. And I'm going to put this out there. I want Sandry to talk about the beer he's brewing and the brewing process. And then I think we should wrap it up. But don't review it. 
Yeah. yeah. Don't Actually, can we, can we say one thing? thing? No. No. No, no, no we, we can't talk about one thing. thing. All right, All right we, we can talk about one thing. I want to say we've been doing this for a year, this podcasting. Is that right? It's been about a fucking year. Yeah. Been doing this for a year. How do you guys feel about it, man? This progress. I'm so sad all the time. All right. How do you feel about well, it? Well, well, I mean, you're locked up in your room eating spaghetti. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm lowest and low, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I'm staying at that bathroom, <laughs> which is different. In the public bathroom. Yeah, but my friend Will Shatner comes to visit from time to time. It's fine. You want, you want some, some Swedish meatballs, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, we've actually been doing this for a year? Yeah, we've actually been doing this for a year, since the first pilot episode. And, uh, yeah, the, dude, you know what drives me nuts about that? Like... Mm. A review of ourself. That's, That's a lot, lot right? right? It sure yeah. is. <laughs> well, no, well, no, the pilot episode. Sounds like it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the, well, well, the pilot episode was, uh, it was just you and me, Bill. And then, like, I was, like, trying to switch the camera off, like, when we talk. And holy fuck, dude. Never do that again. <laughs> what? That's what right. You, you switched the camera off. You tried to, like, zoom in on people's faces while they were, like, yeah. yeah. So, so, so we look professional. And, yeah. yeah. Too way, way too much buffering and editing. And editing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, can you imagine like with three people or, or four people and one that doesn't fucking talk? That cocksucker. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. I like John. Okay, I'm sorry. You heard that, John? Right? Feel sorry. He didn't mean it. Anyway, I can't believe we've been doing it for a year. I remember like the first episode. We, we say John's last name, name and he was like, "God damn it, Phil! The one fucking thing I asked you to do is to not say my last name." And you're, you're like, like oh, oh, I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. You, you never edit it out. <laughs> it's still <laughs> on there. And we can't edit out that we talked about this. Uh, no. It's still there. <laughs> That's right. So now episode, episode one. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if anybody wants to know his last name, name any hot girls. Yeah, right. Any 90s people that like this show. By a threat. Good luck trying to spell it, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> you have to be at least 90, 95% Polish to know how to spell that last name. Oh, damn. That's right. You, you and your illiterate. You, well, you got to be Polish then, because your illiteracy being proud. That, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's exactly right. right. We are proud. Okay. <laughs> Duh. All right. So. Duh. I feel so, so angry I want a pierogi right now. All right. Okay. So, oh, you you could, I know just the place that you can get a good pierogi. Pierogies? <laughs> it's not formerly, EJ's. Formerly known as EJ Pierogies <laughs> <laughs> Auto Clinic. <laughs> No, it's just pierogies. Yeah, no, it's just pierogies and auto clinic. So you said one thing, and now we've discussed like four. Yeah, yeah. Things. Well, well, I just wanted to celebrate yeah. that. It's kind of For like sure. an anniversary, right? I think so. And it's good that we're still going. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Much to our audience's chagrin, we're still here. <laughs> we're, we're still yeah, against the, against the will of the people, right. but we're beating the odds. I think we need to say our love for Ireland more because those viewers are dropping. Are they? No, 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 is that true? No, no. no, I'm just no we're growing, right? We're exploding. Yeah, yeah. We're a media exploding. sensation. We're slowly. We're exploding in people's faces at a wedding who's wearing goggles. <laughs> All right. I don't even want to hear about Sandry Brewing anymore. I think, I think with, unless you want to talk about it. Uh, it's oh, a very simple process. Right? <laughs> sure. For an expert like you. <laughs> yes. An, an no. expert like me who did it shit-faced. Well, is there any other way to brew? In my experience, no. So, so, how, so how do you brew? I don't know anything about beer. Nothing. I literally don't even know what the fuck hops are. I know it's like, is it like grain? No, the <laughs> hops are, I don't know what you would say. They're like buds. So it's a, it's almost, and I always think of them as similar to being like, similar to weed. A little bit. Really? Like a, in <laughs> what? I mean, it's not the same idea, but like in, in like look. Sure. Um, I think you have a problem, Zach. Oh, I'm sure I do. There are, like, plenty of them. Do you think about everything in context or, like, in relation to weed? It's like, tables are like weed, you know, because they, like, support you. Yeah. And oh, God. If I start saying, oh, man, the weed really supports me. <laughs> My car is made out of hemp, like Cheech and Chong. Okay, you find something better comparable to, to hops than marijuana. Uh, bay leaves. Deformed nipple. Oh, fucking whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it like for flavor? Isn't it? A flavor? It is for yes. It's for flavor. It is, but they like as far as like appearance and oh, like sure. texture and stuff. They look like like marijuana buds. Um, what about like Venus flight? No, no, no. What about that plant from Little Shop of Horrors? The Venus flytrap. 
Is, is, that, is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah the uh, hops look like that. That, that kind of looks like a bud, bud no? Okay, well, well the, the process, process is very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, uh, so you take like, like your your, your malted grains, grains right? Is, is like, or your, your malts grain. rather? Yeah. Or, or depending, depending on what you're using, different types, types of grains. You you filter so you got and you kind of boil it like. You so you got hops and grains, grains, and what do you do with them? You like you put a you put them in a big pot in like a bag, in like a grain bag. Okay. Like you're making tea. Like you're making tea. Very similar to that. You like steep it in there. Or like THC, right? Well, eventually. Anyway, continue. <laughs> I like that. Foreshadowing is what that is. <laughs> that, that is foreshadowing. Um, it looks like the kind of bag that you'd you know put your weed in when you sell it. <laughs> no, actually, they they kind of look not, like uh, and it's not the pot that you're thinking. Uh, the the grain bags kind of look like pantyhose. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. So you make the 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 grain tea. You make the grain tea. Um, there's generally like a. Uh, I don't know exactly. I can't remember exactly what it's like. Like malt extract that's similar to like molasses that you pour in, and then like I used like powdered malt. But that's only if you're making a malt, right? Like Depending. Yeah, it's all it's all different based on what you're making. I'm making an English pale ale right now, which is more malt heavy than like most pale ales are. Uh, what would happen if you didn't put the extract in? Well, if you put no like if you put no grains in it all, it'd be shit. The yeah. world would end. Well, it wouldn't be. Beer. It wouldn't make beer. Time would stop. It, w- it wouldn't make beer. No, you have to. Have, you have to have some sort of like, like grain in there. From my understanding, I could be just completely. It wouldn't be some yeah. shitty beer like Budweiser. Or some. No, but well, Budweiser uses. I actually think Budweiser is rice beer. So like the grain used in Budweiser is rice. Oh, okay. As opposed to like I'm u- I'm using. Uh, barley malt. So, well, let's, can we talk about beer like big picture? So like it's you make a tea sort of thing. Yeah, you make a tea sort of thing, and then d- throughout the process for for flavoring and for like body, you put in hops. So and what are hops? They're like oh, you told me what the fuck am I talking about? Like, like, like the buds, buds you, know, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that supports sanitary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they add like the bitterness and different like and different flavor. like flavor profiles to to the beer. Um. So you you put it generally generally you put you put some in at like forty five minutes so it stays in there for forty five minutes and then the flavoring hops yeah are what you put in at like the very end so mm-hmm. like you boil them for simmer them for like fifteen minutes or so. So you're making this tea. It's all cooking together. It's all cooking together and then. You, you know, filter out, filter out, filter out sediment. sediment. You, have you have to cool the wort down, down which, which is what, like, like that, the, the grain, grain tea, grain and hop tea is called wort. How do you spell that? Uh, w R T. Okay. And then you have to cool that down fairly quickly without, you know, because the leaving it at a warm temperature for too long can be bad for it, supposedly. Um, I don't know the actual science behind that, allegedly, but allegedly, allegedly it's, it's, you're supposed to generally put it in like an ice bath. Yeah. And then from there, you pour it into like a fermenter, add water to it, depending on, you know, the ratio of what you're making to, to help the, the fermenting process. No, just the water is just, just for volume. Yeah. For volume. Okay. Um, and then you add your yeast. Right. And and once you, you once, once you add your yeast, you seal it up. Make sure make sure, make sure everything. Well, first, first off, beforehand, you make sure everything's sanitized properly, and then you seal it. Make sure it's airtight, and then it sits for, you know, depending on what it is. The one that I was doing, it sits in the first fermenter for a week, and then you transfer it to the second fermenter, which is like I use like a glass jug. And the way it works is. Like, like the, the yeast, yeast will eat, eat the sugar, sugar within the yeah, yeah, and create and create, and create alcohol, alcohol and carbonation, and, and that creates. Too. So, so if you were just at your kitchen, kitchen drinking that beer tea that you were making, you wouldn't get fucked up. No, 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 there would be no alcohol in it. Right. So what's the point? So, so well, you have to put the yeast in. Then you put the yeast in. It ferments. It ferments for a week, which uh, in the first fermenter, at least the way I'm doing it, you can keep it in the same thing if you wanted to. But I took which they also are making it. Huh? They, also they also are making beer out of women's, women's vagina yeast recently, for, for empowering reasons. I've heard. 
Well, I, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that more foreshadowing? <laughs> Eventually? <laughs> there's, uh, there's, uh, there's you mean many, many crazy things on the, on the, on the road of life. So, so I want to... Well, that's it. Well, that's well, that's well there's an idea. You know, you go on Craigslist, I need your vagina yeast. I think that's a weird rabbit hole. That also sounds like something that's probably not super commonplace. No. Like one person did it. I don't... I don't, I don't even know if it, I don't think that's, think that's the, the right kind of. Is that? Is that I, I don't, don't want to think, think about this much longer than, than I have to. Right, no, <laughs> hang on. We're, this is <laughs> now a podcast <laughs> about beer and bodily products. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway, I, I have one quick question. So when and and I'm being serious, not trying to like. So when see one thing I don't get like. I know, you know, you know that, like, sourness, sourness that, bitterness that bitterness of beer. Of beer. Yeah. How, How do you... That comes from the hops. In, in, in what step of the process... Those first hops, hops that you put in? No, no, in, no, in what step would you add something to sort of make it taste a little different? Like, I know there's one beer, I forgot what it's called. I think, I think it's, it's the one... It, it depends on, like, what type of flavor you're trying to get. Yeah, yeah you know, there's isn't there that one beer with John Candy as the logo? And it tastes, like, orangey? Do you Maybe. If you're oh, oh so, like so like if you wanted to add, add like orange zest, zest or something yeah yeah, yeah. So I it, it, it really, really I mean it's really up to you depending on what flavor profile you want I don't know enough about it to know exactly when to do it but you do it during the wort process okay. so while you're boiling it like if you wanted to, it to be like extra extra citrusy is, it, is there probably rule? added immediately is there rules to like well, well, not. Glad. I mean there's not rules to it you can do whatever you want it's not necessarily gonna Come out oh, great. Yeah. It's not gonna taste great, but you know, it's a as far as like experimentation goes, you can yeah. you can kind of do whatever. It's not gonna react, you know, badly. Uh, there are certain things that could fuck up the fermenting process. I don't know exactly how that works. So again, like I'm no expert on this shit. I just okay. decided to do it. I I just think it's because like I I like never, I very rarely like maybe five times a year drink beer. So, so I, 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 I don't one of them was earlier today. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 but, but, but I don't really get like, you know, like I'm not too nuts about, Oh, well this tastes better than this or like, or IPA is better than, or Guinness, you know, a strong well, they're all malt. different. I mean, and, that, and that's why I'm wondering like, what if, I guess, I guess the question I'm asking is, is it, is like the beer scene where like you're super like nuts about making beer is it like super pretentious where like you couldn't make something really fucking crazy like i want to make some spaghettios flavored beer as know? far as like the industry goes a little bit it's a, like micro brewing is kind of yeah. like that is when you get into like the actual selling it but for home brewing like it's not like that at all no home brewing i found the community is actually super open and like mm. and very like very supportive of yeah. yeah, new brewers and, and things like that. Like I've had, a, I've gone in and talked to people about it because I don't know shit about it, and it, yeah. I've had good experiences every time I've gone and spoken to somebody who knows what they're talking about. Like they're nice to you; they actually are helpful. And I've been to a brewery where they made a beer out of cinnamon toast crunch. So there's, I don't know. I think the beer community, yeah, the connoisseur respects stupid shit like that. Yeah. yeah, where it's like, ooh, it's a cereal beer. Ooh. Well, you you get what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. There's a, well, well, there's well, there's two, two sides of that though, because there's a lot of like, there's, there's also very strict like traditionalists, like people who drew. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Who make that, certain that, Belgiums like adhere to like the exact way you. That, that, that that's what I'm Belgium, saying. Or like a lot of German beers. There's like. I don't, I don't know if I don't know if they, they still have, have them, them, but I know like like, like certain German beers have actual like legal requirements as to what, what can go in them. Okay. okay. Like I think I think uh, at one point uh, uh, like uh, I think is it Hefeweizen? Yeah. Was only allowed to have like foreign the like four ingredients in it, which was which was water, hops, malt, and yeast. Love. Like they like it was. It was the legal code for that that they could only have that in Germany. I don't know, I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist anymore. But like, there are purists like that who that's what they want to do. Yeah. But I've never come across anybody who like cared what other people did. Like, yeah. It's beer, man. Because I think that would make it even better for like a beer drinking contest. It'd be like, oh, there's is that a thing? 
A beer drinking guy. Well, no, well, every weekend, every weekend I play one with myself. Not a training for your entire life. Not a drinking guy. Oh, a tasting, like wine tasting club. So where you, oh, yeah. Where, 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 where you drink something and be like, hmm, there's a Kelzone in there. You know? I mean, I, there are things like that, but it's not. I, I, as far as I, like, as far as I know of it, it's not the same as, like, the wine community, which yeah, is kind of, yeah. which is very particular. Yeah. yeah. We'll say. <laughs> anyway, you've heard it here. And hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. I think I'd like to wrap it up. That's okay. Time for your spaghettios, yeah. I bet. Yeah, I got more beer to brew. So. That's exactly right. Uh, we'd like to give a quick shout out to all of our sponsors for this episode. That's NMP. Still never ending love for Ireland. That, of course. Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs, IKEA, Carlsberg, Rolsch, and uh, 23 and Me, of course. Who could forget? Thank you all for your support and 24. Well, about uh, 46% <laughs> of our listeners are, are uh, likely to forget about the 23 and me. <laughs> Come on, guys. I need referrals. <laughs> That's Oh, what is that? Your 70s accent? Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I'm done, man. You'll catch us here next time. In the meantime, feel free to check out. I'm Polish. <laughs> that, that being, yeah, I'm very hateful this episode. But you won't, you won't hate yourself for checking out our collection of podcasts on Spotify, on iTunes, or on YouTube. We're all over the place, man. Check it out. It's hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Any final thoughts, Phil? Nope. All good, man. All right. Thank you for tuning in, and good night, or good day. Fucked up, dude.